Okay, Knicks Pacers. Knicks go up 2-0. This has got to be one of those ones as a Pacers fan. I, I think as Lakers fans, we wore a couple of these against the Nuggets where Pacers fans had to feel like this was the one that they had to get. Their star players on the on the bench for the whole second quarter. You have a lead coming into the second half, and you just got offensive rebounded to death <laughs> by the New York Knicks. Uh, how hopeless is this for the Pacers? How big of a win is this for the Knicks? Um. You know, I, I, I want to say I've, I've been enjoying the series a bit more than I thought I would. You Same. know, I yeah, I, I thought there was right. potential here for good, um, you you know, for the series to be good. And it hasn't really disappointed these uh, first two games. Um, But yeah, but 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 back to what you said, Mike, like if you're a Pacers fan, of course, you know, we had the, the the crazy calls game one and then game two. Like if you if we if you tell me before this game starts, Jalen is going to miss a whole quarter. OG is going to miss a whole quarter. You know, I would expect that Indiana wins that. You know, and OG went crazy, had 28, you know, do three quarters, missed the whole fourth quarter. But Jalen Brunson and, you know, those boys, man, they're tough, bro. Like, look, like I told y'all before, after the OG trade, I thought that the Knicks were good enough to win the East, you know, and then Randall went out and I was like, OK, I think I'm out on that. But I don't know. I think even this squad right now, bro, if they can just stay somewhat healthy and, and not banged up going into the Eastern Conference Finals, man, who knows, dog? I think I trust them better to win these closer games than the than the the Celtics. I think the Celtics tend to shit on themselves a little bit. We've seen in the playoffs at least, um, in, in closer games, you know. So I, I trust that, but I do think the Celtics is a better team. But I mean, if you're a Pacers fan, are you truly mad? You know, I mean, you got to see that you y'all aren't ready. You just you know, like Halliburton is 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 is, is too. He he doesn't have that dog in him yet. We're like, give me the fucking ball. We're going to win or lose on me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he was 7 of 11 from three tonight. Yeah, yeah for sure. 30-something 30, 30 points. Yeah, 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 but he had 22 in the first half, and there's a part in the third quarter when the, the dude was They're shot. They're looking at him. Yeah, like, why are you not shooting? And also, the, I mean, he had a layup at one point and still passed it off. I'm like, Halliburton. Like, they, the ball, is, the team is better when they, the best player has the ball in their hands. It's for every NBA team. You know what I mean? Yeah. Finish that. You know what I mean? You're the guy. And I think he hasn't necessarily you know, figured that out all the way. And so like, and, I, and also I just think the Knicks are just tougher at this point. They're just tougher. They got that dog in them. Jalen out there hobbling, still getting buckets, still got the ball in his hand, pushing the issue, pressing. You feel me? I just feel like if you're a Pacers fan, you have to see that. I mean, I'm, I'm asking a, a sports fan to be reasonable. I've never been fucking reasonable. But, yeah. but I mean, I, I don't look at the Pacers and being, and I'm like, y'all are blowing it. I'm like, y'all just, just not necessarily ready yet. You know what I mean? That's how mm -hmm. I kind of feel. I can see that for sure. I think there's not a lot of more demoralizing ways to lose a basketball game than not boxing out than for like sure. just getting offensive boarded to death. And they just, it's like the fourth quarter. It's like Tibbs drops some, it's like sharks where you drop some chum in the water. Like they just move in a different way. They're so aggressive getting, getting offensive boards. And it was like, there was, it just kind of felt like a, Almost like a high school game or so. It was like there's, it just felt like there was nothing the Pacers could do. It was just like Hardenstein's going to get four offensive rebounds on this possession, and it doesn't fucking matter who you throw at him. He's just going to jump over him and get the board. Is this Hardenstein's MO? Is this, is this who he is? You know, is this how he normally plays? I haven't watched a ton of Knicks basketball, but I, I've been surprised. And fucking White Dante. I've always like been a fan since the Villanova, since like I saw him in the Villanova championship. But like, bro, that motherfucker's a dog. Whenever they need a big shot and it leaves his hands, you know that motherfucker cash. Facts. <laughs> White Dante, and he's Italian. I know you love it, that nigga, bro. David Genzo. <laughs> I'm surprised you ain't got the jersey yet, my boy. You feel me? <laughs> Fuck it. I know it's Knicks, but come on, man. For the culture, you feel me? I wear a Knicks, jer a Knicks DiVincenzo jersey. Fuck come yeah. Come on, man. That shit come is going crazy. You get a, I mean, shit. I got a DiMaggio jersey. You know, I got a I got a DiMaggio Yankees jersey. It's just like there's some oh. some Italian that you just have to show up for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, let's talk. I, I want to talk about Jalen Brunson. That second quarter, he's out. It, it was really weird. I mean, we don't really we're recording right after the game. We don't really know what happened, but it, it looked like he he got hit in the nuts or something. Like he was grabbing at his upper groin, yeah. and then he comes out and he came back in. They said it was a right foot injury. 
Um, obviously, he was able to play through it today. We really don't know what that is ultimately going to be or turn out to be, though, because we don't know what the injury is. Um, but I just think there's something it's unique to sports that an entire city and in New York's case, it's millions of people is praying for your health. Like that is like Greek champion. Like that's like Achilles shit. Like that does not happen to earthly people. You know what I mean? (laughs) And I feel like that puts you in another level, like in your own pantheon where you had millions of people praying for your health. And then you returned (laughs) to lead your team to a win. I don't know. I, that's like, it's one of those things that starts putting people in a, in a different category. You know what I mean? And I don't know. we, We don't have to talk about if we believe in the power of prayer or not. (laughs) <laughs> but like I just can't imagine he comes back out the fans go absolutely fucking ape shit and again you just feel like it's a it's a it's a special moment and because it's New York it's a special moment on a big the biggest stage possible too yeah yeah you know like shades of Willis Reed and shit and and it's, it's just something that that Jalen Brunson is just adding to his resume like of being an all-time beloved Nick you know what I mean the kid is tough as shit man and that's like that's like what's most endearing about him and what what wins those fans over he lays it all out there bro that's what's what what they love the most about him he plays New York basketball he's six foot two and he's fucking fearless and he's tough you know what I mean he, he is your your prototypical fucking New York Nick and they like this when he is smoked that second quarter, that thing they 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 went in a half, like what down a little over ten or some some. Jalen comes back, comes in, and it looks like a total different team, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like he was he was still kind of cold and was hobbling a little bit before he got warm and started getting buckets. And just him being in the game made that team better. You feel yeah. me? So there's there's some there's some special about him like, within the city, but also that team. Just I mean that's that that's that coach that's that co- he's a, he's a coach's son. You know he's gonna find right. ways to make the team better, even if he can't, even if he's unhealthy or can't do what he normally does. You know what yeah. I mean? He'll figure it out. I, I mean, I do think that's sort of, uh, we talked, Josh expressed as a Knicks fan, how much confidence he has in the Knicks against the Pacers. Obviously he's been proven correct thus far. I do think the concern with the Knicks is the concern with all of Tom Thibodeau's team, which is just, you have Josh Hart played 48 minutes tonight. You had, uh, I, I think there were two other starters in 40 minutes. Jalen Brunson missed an entire quarter of the game and still played 32 minutes yeah, <laughs> to tonight uh, injured. So I, it's that is always going to be the concern because there just is the chance. And I don't think it's going to happen to this Knicks team. I mean, they're really they're all in great shape. They all play. They all look great in the fourth quarter. Like I said, they're winning all the hustle shit in the fourth quarter. Right, right. But that is just always going to be the concern is can you keep the gas pedal all the way down minutes wise? I mean, that, like I said, their star player. Missed a whole quarter of the game today. They had two players off the bench effectively. One played 28 minutes, one played 20. It's just such a short rotation. There's so many minutes for the starters. And that, to me, is ultimately, that's it's just the only thing about the Knicks that still worries me. Because otherwise, it does look like they get through this series easily, and then it'll be an interesting matchup with the Celtics, obviously. One of my favorite um, memes ever is, is that one from Breaking Bad where Jesse Pinkman is like, he can't keep getting away with this, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like that's how I feel about Jalen Brunson, first of all, in the fourth quarter. Like, how does he do it? He just gets clutch bucket after clutch bucket at 6'2". It's insane. And to your point, Mike, I kind of feel like the Knicks team is a little bit of like, they can't keep getting away with this. How is Josh Hart playing 48 minutes every night? How is this he possible? He played the full game last game, too. Didn't how I? is it possible? Like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, when was the last time we saw an, an important physical like right. r- energy based player yeah, play 48 punter. minutes a game consistently. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, don't know. If, if, if you look at the minutes that OG has recently tallied, we can start back at, uh, let me see, game uh, uh, April 28th versus Philly. He played 47 minutes that game. April 30th versus Philly. He played 50 minutes that game. That game they went to OT. May 2nd against Philly. He played 45 ga- uh, minutes. Uh, game one versus Indiana, he played 42 minutes, and then he played 28 minutes and three quarters tonight. Like, I mean, granted, yes, the rotations are short, but I mean, that guy on the sidelines, he doesn't have a reputation that grants him the benefit of the doubt here either, you know, so. Yeah, 100%. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. There are so much fun to watch, especially in the Garden. I love the fu- – I'm just such a fan of the fuck you Reggie chance <laughs> that we get whenever Reggie Miller's in the Garden. Y'all heard that tonight? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean- <laughs> Two minutes left in the game. You could be celebrating going up 2-0. Game looks good. And you have the whole garden going, fuck you, Reggie. 
That's real hate, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's real petty. We be pretending, nigga. You feel me? That's that Kendrick D Drake hate, nigga. That's forever, brother. I'll see you in the next life. You change your name, nigga. Let's fuck that nigga, too. 30 years of hatred right there. That shit, shit goes back to 1993 on this motherfucker, you know? I get it, too, though. I get yeah. it, though. He earned that hate. You feel me? He got to yeah. revel in that. You know what I mean? That's respect, actually, in that situation. It's so funny because the like the TNT producers have clearly made the decision either at their own behest or because of Reggie's request. Like they're clearly not making a big deal out of it, but it's like I just want a live reaction shot of his face every time they start chanting because it's such a weird thing to be a broadcaster paying attention to the game and then have twenty five thousand people chanting "fuck you" right behind you. Honestly, <laughs> if I was Reggie Miller, I'd probably smile. Yeah. They remember. He probably me. is. He's he's one of those he's one of those dudes that we don't talk about Reggie like we should probably talk about Reggie. Shay that does. Shay was, Serrano does. Okay, but okay, we don't, but for sure. I'm saying we don't. You know what I mean? Like he, he wanted to shoot or two. He got he got but he can hoop. You know what I mean? Like you know what I'm saying? Like we don't. But they but the Knicks remember. So I would I would love that. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I I'm stamped here, nigga. This fuck me forever. I'm leaning in. You feel me? <laughs> fuck you, Reggie. You know what I mean? I'd lean up. I love that. You feel me? That's that's respect. Like I said, the NBA playoffs are heating up, and so is the action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, with same game parlays, live betting, odds boosts, and so much more. Don't miss out as the NBA postseason winds down. Oh boy, the playoffs have gotten fun. The Nuggets Timberwolves series is crazy, and you know we are locked in to see who comes out of Mavericks Thunder as well. And if you're new to DraftKings, you got to check this out. New customers bet five bucks to get 150 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Jenkins. That's code J E N K I N S Jenkins for new customers to get 150 in bonus bets when you bet just five bucks. Only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. 